Hello parents and professionals, thank you for joining me today. I am going to be sharing with you how it is that you help a young person to appreciate more by giving them less. So if this sounds like something, particularly in this season of goodwill and lavish Christmas presents, that might be of interest to you, then just keep on watching. So to be perfectly honest, when I say that we are giving them more by giving them less, actually we're not really giving them less. But what we are going to be making a conscious effort to do is to give them less stuff, like less physical stuff. And to also educate and encourage them to seek out that physical stuff less so which is where you guys come in as teachers. It's not just about what parents do in terms of offering gifts and offering technology stuff, all of the stuff that is available to them, but actually it really comes from educating our young people about what's really important in life. And the truth is a lot of the physical stuff that we have doesn't last. A lot of the physical stuff we have isn't made to last. Did you know that the first ever light bulb is still, or one of the first ever light bulbs is still burning, as in it is still a light? Somewhere in America, there is an original light bulb that is still a light. Light bulbs can go on for years and years and years, as in decades and decades and decades. But the ones that we buy in the shops today, if you're lucky, might last you for a couple of years, but they weren't made to be that way. We're in a society now where stuff is made to break quickly. And that means that when we are providing our young people with physical stuff, the chances are this physical stuff isn't gonna last them a lifetime. It's not gonna give them a lifetime of happiness. But something else can, and this is where I need my parents to step up, experiences. If you give someone a good memory, that can last a lifetime. Good memories are not just the backbone of bonding experiences between families, friends, uh, even between pupils and teachers. Good experiences have so much to teach us in how it is that we engage and interact with the world, how it is that we overcome perhaps certain challenges that might show up as a result of having an experience. It's the stuff that you talk about when you're 90 years old and in an old people's home. You talk about, if you're fortunate enough to still have your memory by then, you talk about your experiences. No one's gonna be in an old people's home at age 90 talking about their iPhone and how much joy it brought them. It comes from us connecting with other people. So I think it's a really good time, and I know obviously not everybody celebrates Christmas, so this is just something to install in yourselves for all of the future, no matter what your religious disposition may be. It's a good time for me to mention the fact that we're about to enter into that period of gifts and stuff and products and technology and whilst those things can bring a degree of happiness you get used to the stuff being around you that you have around you so that happiness can wear off it can fade away and stuff can break like we already said your memory won't hopefully break <laughs> your memory of a good experience will always be there for you and it doesn't wear off over time. You know, you can revisit a good memory and remember it in HD, true colour, with all of the surround sound that you need to re-experience the good feelings that went with that particular memory. So maybe what we need to be thinking about for this Christmas is instead of buying gifts that we can stick in a box and wrap up, is to maybe start thinking about providing experiences. So it could be that you still spend a little bit of money, but that you go somewhere and do something really special and you get some great photos on the day. It could be that you give them the choice 
of what they would like to do, but it has to be a doing. Like the doing has to be a, we're gonna get out there and do something in the world and we're gonna do it together so that we can create those memories and those bonding experiences with the young people that are important in our lives. So to recap, teachers and people that are influencers of young people, your role is to highlight to them all of the pros, the good reasons for doing this and how to manage their feelings around seeing somebody else getting an iPhone for Christmas, whereas they got a day trip and what that means to them or a holiday or something like that. Parents, your job is to like buck the trend, make a different decision. I have met children who, there's one particular boy that I can remember working with in school and I said to him, what did you get for your birthday? And he said, seven days in Mallorca. And he was about 11. And I remember thinking, how unusual, how unusual for an 11 year old boy to get a holiday for a present. And so I challenged him and I said, was this holiday really for you? Or was this holiday like for mum and dad? And he said, well, mum and dad obviously enjoyed it, but I picked this. I wanted to go to that place. I wanted that for my birthday. And seeing everybody else being there and having a great time with me was the best present I could have had. I think fundamentally, children and young people know this. It's us as the adults that have gotten into a particular kind of habit of reinforcing this idea that, you know, physical stuff, commercialism makes us feel good. Let's chase after that. Let's chase after some good experiences this Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful one. I will speak to you all again in the new year. If you are not already subscribed to this channel, then make sure you go ahead and click the red subscribe button. Hit the notifications bell so you get notified the next time I upload a video. Uh, give us a thumbs up to say that you liked it and leave me a comment down below. I want to know, are you going to A, go with the stuff? this Christmas? Or are you going to step outside of the comfort zone area and maybe think about a present, a gift of an experience for your young people instead? Let me know what you end up doing. I want to know. I will see you all on the next one and bye for now.